Let them know, Ron. <laughs> How crazy is solo leveling, bro? Insane. Bro. Absolutely bonkers. What's up? Fucking bonkers, dude. Like, y'all don't understand. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to break down everything. If you have not gone and seen the episode, please go see it. That's it. Right now. Right now. Right now, before I even get into it. You guys, episode six, The Real Hunt Begins on Crunchyroll from solo leveling is so peak. I'm going to spoil because I, I just, I, I can't. The animation, the voice acting is so beautiful. As Jin Woo is leveling up, his his voice actor followed it. And, and the other voice actors are doing so well. But basically... Oh my gosh, like after I did the reaction video to it and y'all told me in the comments, like, uh, go look at the, the manhwa and like you suggest it, it's a good series. I, I could not wait for the animation. I knew from the trailer it was going to be spectacular. Dude, this is the best thing to watch and while I'm waiting for the Demon Slayer stuff and the leaks, bro. But this is what I mean about how anime is consciousness, bro. How they be leaving hints in the anime. Basically, in this episode... It leaves off from uh, Jin Woo and the other guy. Sorry, I'm not even going to be good with names right now because I'm hype and I'm not going to relax. Where they got basically left with this C rank boss, and the other dude is scared shitless because, <laughs> like, you know, he's a low rank. But we all know if we're following the character right now, like, ah, guys, I'm all over the place. <sighs> the, the, the rules of the world do not apply to the character. He has reawakened, and it's not even like a reawakening. He's literally a player now. Like, he's a conscious player. Because I think from what I remember from reading, the people who are who are rare and have the reawakenings, I don't even remember if it was considered actually a reawakening. Like, there's something, like, literally primordial and original to this dude. But that's what I mean about consciousness, bro. To encode it a little bit and bring it in the consciousness, this is what I'm telling you guys. When I made my video with Dolores Cannon about backdrop people, they are there are real players in this world and are not. That is where these concepts come from. Whoever made the Manwa solo leveling understands this. And that's why I was saying about video games anyways. There are NPCs for a reason. It was not just a trend for a reason. There are actual NPCs in real life. And there's actual players that we interact with daily, but we may not know that they're even players. That's that's why I said along the whole lines of don't disrespect people or really think you're the main character to where you disrespect people. But there are people here that are temporary consciousness and not actually aware and spiritually leveling up in a sense. So solo leveling is capturing that so good because this part right here that I'm on on video is the part where he basically the hunters that trapped them in there with this C rank boss. He you saw the confidence and the willpower going like, bro, like I'm supposed to get stronger. I'm supposed to level up. And he took on the boss himself and he he put he put the what is it pedal to the metal man. He he ripped. But then when they come in after he defeated the boss, they like hit him with a little blast. Their little, little mage goes pew, and then he flies back into the rocks. And then he says this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to play the video so I can say it to y'all. So it gets to this part. The voice actors, phenomenal, all of them. Ready? So he says this. How could I have forgotten? I work in a world where survival of the fittest is the reality. A world filled with violence, deception, and betrayal. Hold on. How could I? And, you know, his voice is shaking. How? 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 And he starts getting mad. And the voice acting and the, ooh, and the voice, bro. I, I know I can play it for y'all, but I'm not like these anime reaction YouTubers and stuff that they know, like, how much you can show the clip. So I don't want to show too I don't want to show too much, but you guys just have to experience it for yourself. He's just how, 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 and the colors fading from his eyes, and they're showing, like, how... He's not necessarily corrupting. He's waking up to the truth of the world, or at least one perspective. And he said, that's it. I'd grown numb to it because he let it go. If you remember from the first episode, which I was going to do videos on, but I forgot to, was that um, I didn't really forget. I got preoccupied with other stuff. 
but he was betrayed. He literally, everyone was scared, had all their problems. And he was the only one who literally, he had his cards dealt and his mom was in the hospital, all of that. And he's like, I said, he had his cards dealt. His cards that were dealt is that he was dealing with his mom in the hospital and everybody else had their own things. And he was the only one that, that hid those emotions to focus at the task at hand. Let's get everyone out alive. I'm telling you guys, these people are rare. And th the reason it made me go nuts in this episode, like go, going crazy with what he was saying is because I relate to this story so much, bro. You do not meet too many people. At least I've seen that it's rare that will put their own emotions on the back burner, burner to get shit done. Mo it's mostly, mostly men don't do that, but I've seen some, some men who want to do that. And it, it is crazy. It's like, yo, we got our, we, we all got our own problems, but you know, but so then he goes, carelessness, overconfidence, delusion. Oh, is it, it, bro? And it said, warning, if you do not complete this quest, your heart will stop. But do you see how it's like helping him in a sense? And oh, man. And then he said, enemies, who the system is telling me to kill, kill the dudes who basically threatened his life too. I mean, they wanted to kill him. And then he started questioning, does this system want to keep me? Does it have a reason for keeping me alive? And he said, either way. It's, 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 it could be charity. It couldn't be, but it's not a coincidence. And it's, it's, it could be charity. It's not, it could, who, who cares right now? The system wants to use me. So I'll use it. And that's how consciousness feels y'all. When you really realize that you make your own reality, it's like, all right, do you, some people wake up with psychic ability. Some people have foresight, whatever the whole nine yards and bro, I'm telling you solo leveling encapsulates this dude. I know I'm going all over the place, but I'm telling you it encapsulates this and he's over here. He stands up and he's, it wants me to be strong. Exactly. What does your higher self want you to be? What does God want you to be? I'm telling y'all this. Maybe I'm the only one that sees it like this, but I take the lessons from everything. And I'm telling you, this is what these animes be showing, bro. He cracked, he, he stepped forward. Woo, here it is. If the system wants to use me, I'll use it too. Oh my gosh, I'm watching it back right now while I'm doing this. It's so cold, bro. It's so cold that he just proceeds to dog walk their entire squad. And then when he gets to the leader, bro, he puts his head in the dirt. He says, I got some bad news for you. I've been leveling up the whole time. And the song they put in there and the whole synchronistic magic that they threw together. Oh my gosh. This shit had me want to run outside and do a run, bro. I wanted to do backflips off my back porch. Mind you, I'm up in floors in an apartment. I wanted to jump off the terrace. <laughs> Bro, this is so cold, dude, because it literally feels like the life I live in. I don't care, dude. I had a an acquaintance of a bro in Florida who said, I live life like an anime because these lessons are literally lessons of what it is. That's what I say, bro. I, I literally live by this too. Human nature is flawed. And that's what it was showing in this. Like even in an in a world where it's like video game-ish and they do dungeons, they're showing the same thing that human nature is flawed so you have to rise above your human nature which he did he might be on the little demon king level side of it but that's still it he pushed all his emotions away to be honest give them a fair chance but see it's always that human greed and everything that that comes back bro that flaw that is why you got to level above that but not a lot of people are going to understand that not a lot of people are even probably going to understand this video it'll go in one ear and out the other I'm telling y'all, it's mindset, bro, that got him through all of this, dude. These episodes have been cold, dude. Cold. Spectacular, dude. Spectacular. It is literally so beautiful. It, it, I don't usually like power fantasy things. I dislike One Punch Man. Sorry, I'm standing on that. I think it is just not done right. Uh, the character, he's hard to relate to. But Jin Woo, bro, he's him. Like... Like when you like, <laughs> I'm just going to say like a hundred times, because it's like when you follow his story, if, even if you read the manhwa, but you watch the episodes, you just feel it, bro. He's put on the brink of death so many times. And I, to me, that's the author also alluding to the ego death. He's having ego deaths. Like he's like, oh, I almost forgot. Like human nature is flawed basically. And he's like, oh, well, let me not forget again. What, what, who did I come here to be? I came here to get strong. So he's not playing any longer. And that's just what I say is take that for real life. 
You didn't come here to play. You didn't come here to be just another cog in the machine. You came here to stand out. So it's time to stand out. Oh my gosh, I love this so much that I might put this video on both channels, dude. This the dude, and it be the episode being called The Real Hunt Begins. Oh my oh man, they did the scenes perfect, dude. Fighting the it made me feel like when I was playing Dark Souls, I made a Dark Souls joke to my bro because the game aspect of it, but Dude, the consciousness expect aspect of it, talking about waking up and reawakenings and the even the outro of the show showing him going through doors. Man, I could draw so many things from music videos that artists show with these symbols that they drop in there. You know, doors open and close, opportunities and everything, all the symbols they use. Dude, I'm telling you everything in nature is connected and this is just another thing to add to that whole pile. Nothing new is under the sun, motherfuckers. We are reawakening, we're awakening. Jin Woo is an aspect of you. Y'all mofos need to wake up. This shit is telling y'all what this is. You need to level up your consciousness, level up your mindset, because that's what it takes to get ahead, dude. And, and as long as you're not stepping on anyone else, you'll get stronger. And that's what he's proving, bro. He's never took anyone into any dungeon to, you know, it's like they're all serving as lessons, bro. <laughs> Cause he didn't take anyone into dungeons, to lead them in. He was the weakest, bro. And these mofos are talking behind his back, talking about, I don't care if he's the weakest. Like, take take this stuff off his dead body. Exactly, bro. You see what kind of karma that gets you. Dude sitting here, don't kill me. You don't know who my brother is. Decapitated, bro. Get out of here. You want mercy? You threatened my life three times. But that's why I say also that this is only one perspective. I'm not saying live like that where you just, you know. Because you can be better than you can rise above people who mean to do harm to you or even have threatened or tried to do things to you. It's all how you react. But one thing that I truly want to want you to take from this, if you can, and you know, take what you're gonna take. Not don't don't just listen to my ass. Is that he's showing that there is a certain mindset that gets you above and ahead of the majority of people. That is just straight to it. It doesn't have to be this mindset where like you're going to be the strongest and now like you know, whatever, that could be your motivator. But the thing is, is like, remember that that aspect of him doesn't have him just walking on people. He's using that strength to walk on the mofos that walked on him. Remember, you could have the whole Buddha enlightened path, or you could have this path, or you could have the Gojo path, or you can have the Sukuna one. Either way, it's to realize that human nature, your human nature sometimes is the root of a lot of your problems. It is, it is literally that because I feel like love and all those things are way above that because, and to talk about love, that's how the episode ends. When he goes outside and they talk to the person and then she was like, oh, you want me to believe that? Like you two low ranks made it out and all the higher ranks died. And, but the one thing that he thought of when it started raining, that he was glad that I think he gave, it was his sister. Yeah. He gave his sister an umbrella to like walk to school or whatever. That's the one thing he thought about love and take care of his family. And this, this is the guy that's getting in these situations where he's getting played with people who are, who are can't handle their own fear and everything. And they're running from, and, and honestly, no, he, that's, that's the part about consciousness that makes you nearly go insane is even when these people do these things to you, you have to forgive them and understand that they're only interacting with you at the level of their consciousness. Look at, he ran into people that were greedy in this side of human nature, but still, what did he do? That's right. He remembered, <laughs> he forgave them for what he was about to do to them. I'm not saying you do, you know, beheading people in real life in game, by the way, YouTube, but I'm talking about YouTube. I'm talking about a show. But, you know, what I'm saying is it's like, uh, I think there's a Bible verse that says it. it's like, Father, forgive them for they do not know what thou do or thou they do. But it's basically like that. Look, if you are Jin Woo and you're level, leveling up in real life, remember that. That's why I always forgive everyone because not everyone is on this journey. They're only meant to be a lesson. <laughs> Seriously, dude, there's a lot you could take from this. This shit was cold, had me back flipping, bro. I felt like I would hit I'm done. Take that for what you will. This is one of my videos where I get to lose my mind. I, uh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful work. Animation is, it's too good. I'm done. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. I finished the video at 111. You guys got to see this. Hold on. Oh, damn. It went away. That sucks.
it was literally 1, 1, 1 p.m. What, a, what an angel number for you. I can show y'all what time it is now. Hang on. Look, I'll just use my phone. It's 1, 12. Crazy. It was 1, 1, 1 as soon as I pressed stop recording. Guess this, this was just in alignment. What can I say?